Well, here it is, guys. About a year. Be quiet. Hush your mouth. Here it is, guys. About a year and a half ago. This is my dad's Comanche. Cobra, shush your mouth. About a year and a half ago, guys. I decided to uh, put a lift on this car right after I put a new set of wheels on here. I should have not bought these wheels or not the, not the, not the wheels. The wheels are fine. Uh, I should not have bought these tires guys. These tires are a 235, uh, 75, 15. And as you see now guys, after the lift, I just installed a six inch lift. Not like I did it overnight, mind you. I, I told you guys it took me about a year and a half. Yeah, because I'm not a Jeep guy, guys. And uh, this was the first time I ever did anything like this. I didn't even know if it was going to come out okay. And you can't really tell on the video, guys. But it looks like the back might just be a little bit higher. Maybe not. This, this isn't completely level right here. But that's fine, guys. I think that's actually perfect. And even if I don't like it, there's still plenty of adjustability on the... Clayton off-road Clayton off-road uh, rear shackles that have adjustable adjustability let me show you let me get this flashlight here guys this isn't a light kit even though I have a light kit for this I haven't put it on yet but let me just show you the adjustability guys on these this is gonna be a pretty thorough uh, video you see I have it here on this one if I moved it up one then I could lower the back just a tad. And this is all possible, guys, because of Rocky Road Outfitters. Now, I wasn't sure if their spring over axle kit was going to be, uh, you know, I didn't know if it was going to work out. But I crossed my fingers and I, you know, I, guys, I make all these purchases in faith, expecting everything to, to, to work out now i wasn't sure if i was going to need a uh what do they call it a syes a, a slip yoke eliminator kit it's very confusing to get all the all the correct information especially for the mjs there's plenty of information for the cherokees but for the mjs the comanches that are two-wheel drive only uh you don't get a whole lot of information so i kind of just had to uh to hope guys so pretty much what i'm what i what i was saying is whenever i disconnected the whole rear end i should have just did one side at first uh got this puppy all over me because the whole thing twisted on me guys and then i wasn't sure if i was going to get the correct angle back as you see guys i don't have a garage here at all there's no there's no garage here yet there's no lift here guys i did it this all possible with all these uh jack stands and stuff guys so i did this all by myself and i have to say i'm actually pretty proud of myself guys you know i uh i made sure i put a lot of thought into all the purchases so i'm gonna walk walk the walk you through everything now i still have a couple things that i need to finish doing like uh i took out the the front sway bar just because i have let me uh, see if i can get a um okay i guess i i was trying to get rid of the hot spot but this is actually on the lowest setting um see i have the new bushings these new bushings uh go here so i just have to uh, i might just take this off and uh you know hit it with the with the angle grinder and then hit it with some spray paint guys it's like I went all out on some parts and then on other parts I didn't. But we're just going to start at the back because in the back is where I put the least amount of stuff. Now, don't worry, guys. I, I do have the tailgate for this. I just took it off so that uh, I was trying to deduct weight off of the jack stands whenever I had this thing on. I even took out the mat, but I, I, sweep, I sweeped everything up, guys. Everything is nice and clean. I mean, it's not clean, but it's, 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 I swept it, you know, so 
Yeah, this is the original mat that my dad had uh that it came with when my dad bought it guys my dad bought this he's the second owner he bought this outside of traders village i remember one time we were going to go to traders village and when we were pulling in he saw it and he said oh i want that so we came back home and he got some money out of his safe and then we went back and he bought it guys and then we continued on with our day but here got here guys so i'll just start back here now <sighs> I'm out here in the ground and the ground guys these are just the, those expensive ass jeans that I bought because I'm so fat these don't have a zipper they actually just have buttons all the way so it's actually pretty good because when I'm feeling fat I don't button it all the way anyways guys uh so that's the Clayton off-road shackle I'm gonna show you the comparison uh Here's a comparison, guys, to the stock shackle. That's the the Clayton off-road shackle. I wasn't sure if I had it in the right configuration. I could have it in the wrong configuration. I don't know, you know, like the wrong orientation. But here's the uh, here's the, the uh, I don't know if you can see in here. It's not very picking up a whole lot of light. Let's see. How about that? There we go. So I'm just gonna walk you through everything I replaced. So this is the original shackle, guys. So you see, substantially bigger, longer, and thicker metal, for sure. I mean, that's, that's thick, guys. That's not gonna break. So that's some thick metal. So I did have to remove the leaf springs on both of these and I had to drill out the leaf springs just a little bit to uh, to have to be able to seat the the adapter on what you call you guys don't know what I'm talking about but it's a pain in the ass okay let me get under here guys all right I did remove the the spare tire that came in here the little donut and it's not going back in so i swapped out the sorry if i'm yelling guys i swapped out the fluid in here already i hell hell i could have too much fluid in here i don't know um but this is a good cap it's got a drain plug and a fill plug but anyways i replaced this i should clean that up but i replace i replaced the shocks guys so i have blistens in the back and in the front the ones in the back are, uh, I'll show you the model number. These are rated for five and a half to six and a half inches of lift. So I know you can't see that probably great. In another video, in, in the other videos prior to this, I gave plenty of information on the, on the shock uh, serial numbers. So if you're curious. So I did also get the Rusty's uh, extended brake cables and they give me like just enough clearance. In fact, there's this tube here guys and it's uh, it won't reach the, I have no idea what it's for but I have plenty of tubing, I'll replace it. So yeah guys, I wasn't sure if I was going to need a slip like slip yoke illuminator or anything i just or, or a double card and i was prepared to just get a whole new drive shaft too guys but we're gonna run it like this so uh yeah i used everything from the old setup except for the u-bolts because this new uh this new uh spring over axle kit came with uh these big stud bolts I wasn't sure how they were going to bolt in whenever I got it all in, but I figured it out. So yeah, I got the shocks in there. So back here, we just have a new differential cover, guys. New shackles, new shocks, and uh, extended brake cable here. And that should be everything. I haven't done anything to the inner bearings, anything to the inner axle, and I haven't... Re uh, I haven't redone the brakes, the brake drums. I still have to redo the brake drums in the rear though. 
that's something I, I did do. In the future, I think I, d I would like to get bigger wheels on here. And so, but we're just gonna have to upgrade from the Dana 35. So there's really no point in doing a, uh, a swap conversion for disc brakes on here. So we're just gonna refresh the drum brakes uh, in the next couple weeks. I'll get to that, I'll order all the parts. Okay, so that that's all I needed in the back, guys, to get the the lift. That lift that I needed was just the sufficient shocks, the spring over axle kit, and the Clayton off-road shackle. So I'm just going to give you a little a little look real quick at the spring over axle setup. So let me get a different light. This light is dying. It's dying. It's blinking. Okay, guys, so here's some better light. Now, it's very interesting because all this whole leaf pack before was uh, down here. This isn't working very well. I just want to give you a look real quick, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll do a better video in the sunlight tomorrow. But uh, this is how the spring over axle thing is sitting up. So the part that I had to drill out was, uh, was the top plate. No, I had to drill out a hole in here, guys. There's a hole. Oh, fuck. There's... Should put some new batteries in here. Anyways, we'll do that later. Yeah, we'll talk about this spring over axle kit later. All you need to know right now, guys, is that it works. It was a uh, pretty much a direct bolt on. Very easy. Uh, if you want to do it, I'll give you. A, you'll figure out how to drill out the hole before. Anyways, here in the front, guys. Um, here in the front, this is going to be a doozy. Let me get some, let me get this. Let me bring this in here, guys. Get some good light in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, here in the front, I got a lot of stuff. Guys, everything in here except for the shocks, except for these Blisson shocks, everything in the front that I upgraded came from Rusty's. So we're gonna go through it, guys. Except for the for the Fox uh, steering damper. So yeah, I got uh, ex I got uh, beefed up, guys. Lower and upper control arms adjustable. That's right, guys. Adjustable lower and upper control arms. Those are about five hundred bucks, guys, for all of them for the both sides. Here we got some brakes. Uh, brake cables, extended brake cables. I really lucked out on on the the original one. On the original brake lines, were, uh, didn't give me any problems, guys. I was able to screw this on, no problem. A lot of people have have to wire. Uh, a lot of people have to put in a whole new brake line because it's so rusted. But we're in Texas, guys. We lucked out. So I did add a whole new rotor. And new bearings in there and all the a bunch of grease and I did refresh the this little I guess it's just a axle right it's just a standard axle uh, because it's a it's just a two-wheel drive so I, I whenever I had it off um, to uh, put the ball joints and guys upper and lower ball joints Moog this is Moog joints all around I took ahead and I took advantage and put uh, new bushings for the for the top control mounts. So the whole axle is refreshed. Even have new grade eight hardware bolts right there, guys. And uh, now we're moving on to uh, the springs. These are Rusty's six and a half inch springs. And I uh, also uh, Rusty's extended bump stop. 
Now I did paint all this, but everything got marred up on the installation, but no problem, no big deal. And uh, down here we have a uh, heavy duty uh, Rusty's uh, steering system. All with adjustable joints and uh, Zerk, is that what they're called? Zerk fittings for greasing. And here I have a uh, Fox whatever. Uh, kind of whatever kind of shock that is. Just one shock. And uh, oh, I have a Rusty's uh, drop pitman arm. I think this is a three and a half or the six and a half inch one. I think this is a six and a half inch one. I know they make a bi another bigger one, like an eight and a half inch one or something. Up here, I have a, uh, I put a new um, oil pan and all new uh, oil, uh, grade eight bolts to go with it. Now guys, whenever I was putting this new oil pan, um, I couldn't get the damn uh, Victor Rain's gasket and that's my fault. I should have gone with a Felpro. So I ended up just tossing the Victor Rain's gasket and just putting a big, a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of uh, gasket sealer, gasket maker on there instead of that the guys these dogs are trying to eat my head eat my head i need to get off the ground hey shh, get off me get off me shh, get, off, get away from me yeah so uh so i don't know if it's leaking guys it might leak a little bit but you know what whatever a little leak it is cool with me guys i knew while i was in there i put a whole new uh oil pump is that what it's called? Yeah, I put a whole new oil pump in there. And I did the... Fuck it. Get off me. And I put um, connecting rod bearings. I replaced the connecting rod bearings. Also, we have a new alternator. And I have a new starter. I need to reconnect the starter. But I put a new starter in there. Also, I have a new exhaust manifold that I'm going to put in. And a whole new valve cover. A whole all with all the good setup with all the crush washers with all the with everything guys it's all with all new bolts it's gonna be nice you guys check check in the future for that for that guys it's gonna this this command is gonna look nice so anyways this is what's going on here oh yeah so this is the steering heavy duty steering like I told you guys and then this is the drag link right here all this came in a kit like this and then i bought the the track bar separate the track bar came with uh, this brace here and then uh you see it has a a drop bracket for the yeah i don't i don't know what the what the name for that is but all this is rusty's guys all this is actually pretty expensive i i think it's around two thousand dollars so far for everything uh, that's probably on the cheap side but yeah as you see guys i pretty much replaced everything and it's only a two-wheel drive why do this for a two-wheel drive well guys i wanted to this Whenever I was driving this thing, guys, whenever I bought this set of tires, I drove it for a, a, a couple times. You know, I took it out to the bar when I was still drinking and stuff. And I would see a lot of Jeeps next to me still, guys. And this thing would still be, get dwarfed. It would still be dwarfed. And now every truck coming out, guys, is so tall, it's so big, that uh, it really dwarfs this Comanche. And uh, I just want it for, for safety reasons. And uh, also... Uh, for to to uh to improve the vehicle um i wanted to beef up a lot of the componentry and um i wanted to raise the presence up also so that it could be more visible and it's in, and if it's more visible guys it would be a little bit more safe to drive uh for my dad and so that's why i got it guys and that's why i bought all this stuff and uh yeah guys about it's been a, a year and a half since i uh took on this and i decided to actually do the lift and 
I actually am quite impressed with myself, if I may say so, guys. Look at all this work that I've done. A lot of the work I had to go back and redo multiple times just because I didn't know what I was doing. And even today, I was second guessing myself in the previous videos. I mentioned that I thought that this bearing wasn't seated all the way, so I took, took it off. It turns out it was. It turns out that it's just the, the rotor has a, a different spacing than that side uh, on the back of it. And it was still, it was messing with my mind, but you know, so today I did a whole another five hours of extra work for nothing. And, uh, but now I feel pretty confident. Now I, I am good. Now that it's, I just got everything. Oh, I took every, I just took all the jack stands out guys. So I made sure that I didn't tighten everything down. You know, like the, the, all, I didn't tighten everything down for the suspension and stuff, guys, because I wanted to wait till it was all on its, own, on its own weight so that nothing would like bind, so that none of the bushings would bind. And so now I can go and just tighten everything back up. But yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, guys. I'll just put this over here, give you guys a good look see. So, uh, plenty of room here, guys, for 33, 35 inch tires. I mean, these tires right here are sitting at just at literally like at 32 inches, but they're not 32s, but the, 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 the circumference is 32 inches. So I think these could fit 35s, guys, you know, but I wouldn't go 35s on this little 4.0, guys. I would just do 33s or 34s yeah nobody really runs 34s but these are just so brand new guys we have to run these tires anyways but what i like about these skinnier tires is that uh it'll roll better you know it'll it'll actually it won't be it won't it won't be so much strain on the drivetrain because this is still running the peugeot guys the ba15 or whatever no not the ax15 the Fuck, I, for, I forgot what it's called, guys. The Peugeot something. Is it BA15? I'm not sure. I know one of them is AX15. That's what everybody wants, but. Well, here it is, guys. Here's the Jeep Comanche. Six and, six and a half inch lift. We didn't do any pucks. Oh, one thing I did forget to tell you guys that I did uh, put up here was uh, I did, I did uh, install a fresh... Uh, what you gonna call? Uh, seat, uh, spring seat. You see this up here, guys? Uh, let me see if I can show you. Uh, this one here. Uh, this is a new one, also. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. Uh, uh, this is a big, tall spring. Oh, what I was saying, guys, is I'm not an engineer. I didn't know if any of this was on, on the right. I didn't know if it was gonna be on the on the right axis, you know? So I kinda, I read, after reading on a lot of the forums, uh, uh, there's a lot of people that say that your control arm needs to be a certain length. The top control arm needs to be a certain length for a certain lift. And the bottom one needs to be a, so they have a chart, guys. You can find all these charts. Well, those charts didn't work for me, guys. I ended up having to, Excuse me. I'd, I ended up having to extend these uh, this adjustment down here, guys. You see. So just take note of this, guys. I have the adjustment uh, screws uh, at the top. Um. Yeah, I think that's better, right? I don't know, guys, but this is how I have it. I think it's looking pretty good. So it's probably good for now. Uh, I'm gonna continue to work on it. Guys, I have a whole new set of decals, uh, brand new, fresh Pioneer, because this is a Pioneer, but I took off all the decals, as you can see. You can you can kind of make out the, the remnants of the, but I need to go ahead and, cl and cl clean it up real good with some, uh, with some, not acetone, but some sort of cleaner. The decal people gave me instructions with a particular uh, product that they want me to use and then I could put the decal on 
Uh, so yeah, guys, I was thinking about getting some chrome mirrors, but I'm just done spending money on things that I don't need to spend money on. So this is going to get painted white. We're going to paint that white. And uh, I did find, finally online this year, guys, there is a, 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 a light that's made for the Comanche that is a new LED. So we're going to go ahead and get that. They're stupid expensive, like almost $300. Maybe even more, guys. But we're just going to go ahead and buy them. We're going to go ahead and do the, the shop for, sh pay for four. Why not, right? So that's what's going on here, guys. Look at how much freaking room this, is, this has, guys, in this wheel. In this wheel well. So much room here. So much room, guys. We're still running the original uh, leaf spring pack. Didn't modify the spring pack. Didn't didn't add a didn't add a leaf. Didn't take anything out, guys. I uh, I was contemplating uh, putting new bushings into the leaf spring, but if I ever want to do that, they, they looked fine. If uh, you know, thirty five years later, uh, um, what you may call, uh, but they're easy to swap later on if I need to do that. So yeah, here it is, guys. Uh, what did I say? We have uh, all new front comp guys. The whole front end on this thing is beefy as hell, isn't it? Look at these. Look at these control arms. Look at this spring. Look at these fifty-one hundred shocks, guys. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, guys. It's. Uh, I know you guys miss seeing this thing all powered up, but. Listen, that's probably long enough I've been talking to you guys. Um, I ordered more white paint so that I could uh, so I could paint all, all this down here, guys. Um, you see, like, here, guys? You see, like, right there? It's like, I just want to get all that nice and white, guys. Everything nice and white. Yeah, it's got a big dent right here, guys. We need to pull this dent out of the door. This dent is from me when I was a kid. I was mad and I kicked this door. And yeah. Anyways. Yeah, guys, this is the longest lift ever. One man six and a half inch lift guys what do you guys think what do you guys think pretty it looks better in person trust me on this side it actually looks a lot more capable it looks huge over here on this side once i have once i put the whole light kit inside of the fender wells and stuff i think the light kit that i have it comes with like if i'm not mistaken either eight or 12 little light pods we'll figure it out Guys, this is a nice little Comanche, guys, don't you think? Now, I told you guys, I, I don't know if I told y'all, but I had lost the keys for these, for these, and then I was, I ended up buying a bunch of whole, different new old stock keys and from eBay, and uh, the other day, I was walking around in the backyard, guys, and uh, I, found the, I found the keys. So I don't even have to go and get new keys cut, even though I will. Just so we have some backups, I found the old keys. I think this thing looks pretty cool, man. I gotta tell you, uh, I'm not entirely sure if the steering is straight. Uh, I tried to get it a little bit towed in, right? You want to get it a little bit towed in, is what I is what I think. But um, oh, sorry, puppy. Yeah, like I said, uh, oh, guys, the pool, the pool. Yeah, it only lasted uh, a couple hours, so I uh, I moved the table back. And you know what I did for the dogs today? It was so hot for them. Um, I just filled the wa the the dog kennel up because it'll hold a couple inches of water, and all the dogs like to do is go in there and splash around. So. Uh, that, that kind of kept them kept them a little cool. And uh, I need to add some more water to this rower because I think the sun's been been uh, 
evaporating some of that water well here it is guys here's the the jeep uh, if you guys want to see more of it just you know tune into the channel if you want but anyways i hope you all have a great day bye